two to one against him. Great tackle by Magro. Picked up by Wearmouth. Wearmouth across to Picken. Picken cleverly to Manassa. Massa under pressure. Dodges Ablett terribly quick easily. And boots it out wide looking for Captain Ray Shaw. Hotly pursued by DeWold. Shaw is there first. Gets a one-hander back to Morris. Morris goes for the run. He'll boot down looking for Peter Moore, which he does. It's a great kick, Morris. Moore goes up one-handed. Oh, he's crumbled again. Wearmouth, a long hand pass to the half-forward flank. He's not good football, but made good football by an awkward bounce, which goes to Oborn. Oborn held a long time. Steadies for goal. Peter Moore and Kelvin Moore fly for Peter Moore. One. He is simply too tall. They've played 31, sorry, 26 and a half minutes in this quarter. Burn onto Morris. Bond closing in. And towards Kink. Oh, back to Morris. On to Kink. He'll look for more. Moore calls for it. Dempsey there. Oh, Moore loses his footing. So does Dempsey. Here's trouble. Ramsey and Wearmouth. Wearmouth in trouble. Goes square towards Davis and he'll steady. 25, 30 metres out from goal. Dick's been a quiet play, but a nice handball to Bond. But, oh, he's kept right on that boundary line. Taken by Worthington. Kicks the ball back to Moore at centre half back. Three players call for it. It'll be Valley to get it. He'll judge the bounce and run through the centre. A long kick down to full forward, but McCann's got the sits. But Dempsey's there as well. William out. Shoots. Goals. Uh, 15.81 to Collingwood. 11, 13, 79. Six and a half minutes gone of this quarter. North Melbourne kicking with the breeze this quarter, and the odds are against the Magpies. Didn't score well enough in the third quarter when they had this very strong breeze in their favour. Ball back into play again. Pushed out by Moore to Wearmouth. There's been a pretty quiet play. It's a bad kick by Wearmouth. Oh, Wearmouth. Uh, Wilno got it out, but uh, he gets a free kick. He's had a pretty tough day today against Boyce, as Peter said before, one of the best players on the ground. Back it goes to Davis and Dents. Barker runs into his own player, O'Keefe. And O'Keefe still can't pick it up himself. Now the Magpies do through Wilno. He gets it over to Worthington. Uh, not Worthington, but Wearmouth. Wearmouth over to Kink. He lines up the goals from 20 metres out, and there's another one. Four points to Collingwood. And I'm sick of looking at the scoreboard. It's 30 goals, Collingwood. 21, 201 points to St Kilda. 310, 28. Now they need... Lee, straight to Wearmouth. Wearmouth to Olsen. Can't claim it. And the handball hits uh, Shaw back to Wearmouth, the shot for goal, and he's popped it through. It's been uh, a dozen points or so. Oh, Ooh, McCormick was crunched at the ground, but didn't stop Collingwood from moving that ball around the uh, the flank. Valley runs into position, Ooh. well, he's put down. That's two Collingwood players in a row. Melbourne are really hitting them with everything. Wearmouth in the centre. A call from the flank there from teammate uh, Olsen. This control, McCarthy gets his body in there, Byrne and McMahon. And finally Collingwood out through White to Wearmouth. The handball upfield is a good one to Woolmo. Moore, look out, here come the troops. Caught by Higgins, but he breaks the tackle. Moore kicks for the goal square. Derek Shaw is there. Magro goes in pretty strongly that time. Moore pushed out to Wearmouth, and he shows a bit of dash. A hand pass over to Shaw. Another one back to Wilmo and Collingwood looking a lot better now. Another hand pass. And we see the ball take it and goes for the punch. Davis tries to grab it. Wearmouth getting away from the puck. He's gone for hand pass. Over there to Daycross. Back it goes now to uh, Davis. He slips hard. Gully. But he's got time to get up. He boots it plus there towards the full forward zone. The uh, right half forward flank. Byrne with another chance. Goes for the hand pass. Taken by Olsen. Almost in trouble. Daycross. Twisting around Irwin, goes for the short pass in towards right half forward of the mark, is taken by Stewart. Stewart goes for long hand pass, looking for Wearmouth. Wearmouth over to Valley. Valley has a chance to steady and line up the goal. That time and boots the ball over the centre half forward position. A chance for Richardson. Oh, good mark to Wearmouth. Right, golly, it was a free kick and a mark. Ball kick back, Wearmouth playing at half back out for Ronnie Wearmouth. He's got the mark. He doesn't drop them. Of course, he scoots up pretty quickly. He's got a ton of pace. He drives the ball over centre half forward. Looking there. Oh, there's a push on the little fella. Little Ray Shaw. He played for that for sure. He admitted the big one. He just balked himself there on the big fella, pushed him fair and square on the back. There's a lead coming out now to Rene Kink and Wearmouth. Wearmouth is in trouble. He's got an open goal. Can he kick it? 
He's put it through and the Magpies are coming back in business now. It's the crowd. They're really coming alive now. I would say that uh, at least includes a couple of the players and a third. You missed him that time, Bill. Get him better luck next time. Oh, great mark from Magro. What a ripper. Magnificent. That's the mark of the day. Magro across the ground, looking out there for Dacos. Too fast for Richardson. Terry White. He's in front of Conlon, who gave him one for his corner. William out, centre wing position, goes for a pass, looking for Stewart. Oh, it's a bad one over his head, but Stewart's uh, fast enough to get there in front of Christmas. Goes for the mark, he bumbles that one back to Beecroft. Hand pass was bad over to uh, Common that time. William out, back here to Olsen. Olsen gets the ball wide. Out there towards Banks, going after it with him is Keyes, but Keyes goes down a chance for Banks to pick it up. A hand pass coming over now to Hanover. He picks it up nicely as he comes around that. Uh, Great defensive play by Worthington as White towards centre wing. Kink across to Wearmouth and away go Collingwood. Wearmouth's got a paddock and now he's got Anderson free. Anderson Moore in centre. Moore shoots for goal and puts it through, right through the centre. It's the Hawks and the Magpies from VFL Park and wherever you're watching, we hope you're going to enjoy the match. There's a free kick. That wasn't. Uh, Exactly what you'd call slowly away, slowly away. Ronnie Wearmouth, the first one for the game. Nobody on the mark, so he goes up towards the left half forward flank. The ball fisted away, a chance for Lee Carlson for Collingwood. He's always a good player under night conditions. He got pushed in the middle of the back, and it's going to be a free kick to Lee Carlson. No doubt about that whatsoever. And he'll take it on the boundary line, only some 50 metres out from goals. As a matter of fact, he was an award winner here. He won the Thorn TV's hit from Canberra in one of Collingwood's earlier matches. Up towards the half-forward line. Oh, a very high fly was Banks and takes a ripper. That's not bad for a night match. You don't often see a mark taken like that in the night conditions, but he got very high. Let's take a look at it in replay. Dennis Banks, Speedy, he's carrying on from the form he showed on Saturday, and he really threw himself up in the air there to climb above all and sundry. First score coming up to Collingwood. Might be a point or a goal. Should score from there, 30 metres out, pretty well directly in front. It's a goal, first blood to the Magpies, here we go again. Well, I don't know about that, Pete, they're off to a great start, they've only played about the Scott, but he slipped it a little bit on the boundary line, will it make the distance? No, there's Wearmouth going after it now. He's clear, he runs around Scott very nicely, a long hand out there on the wing position, the Hawthorne get it back to their half forward line again, there's Worthy, but Magro playing perfect defence football and good anticipation, takes a good mark. Oh, well, they're all jumping up wide, and this gives William out the chance to break clear, another hand pass coming over, and the ball driven up that time by Collingwood's cast, up the... Play goes on to the uh, centre wing position now, go for Hawthorne with the ball, it's taken away out... Uh for Collingwood, but it's going to be a free kick to Ronnie Wearmouth, and Wearmouth takes the free kick for the Magpies, centre wing, breaks away, Ronnie's full 10 metres, gets it uh, back to Magro, intended for Banks, but he couldn't pick it up, very scrambly play down there, picked up again by Wearmouth, he threw it out of the pack towards Gerald Betts, Betts has a ping at the... It's only about 20 metres out from the Collingwood goal, they're all missing, you know, one's having a grab, Terry Moore tried to get it out, and the umpire's still calling play on, and what's he decided here, free kick to Wearmouth, and he's right in front, it's not uh, how many free kicks you get, it's where you get them. The counts, Bobby, I'd say, wouldn't you? It makes a difference, Lou. <laughs> they can get 48 on the back line. It doesn't mean a damn thing as long as you get them in front of goal. Wearmouth only about uh, 20 metres out directly in front of goal. Yet to score a goal. Fires. And he's put it through for a goal. And, of course, that gets Colling with a leeway of 16 points at the moment. Six goals, 8.44. Hawthorne to Collingwood, 9.660 at the 25-minute mark of this uh, third quarter of the escort. Hendry, their most effective forward, and that was a good tackle. Coming out of the pack is uh, Picken, and he's got a free kick this time for the Magpies. Gives it over towards Ireland. Wearmouth. Breaking away well, looking out there for Byrne on the wing position, but it goes past him. Banks. Banks and DP at Domenico. Banks picks it up well. Looking down there for Betts, over the head of Betts, and also Austin Brewer. Brewer's on his own. Nobody within five metres. He's got a chance to steady. That's going pretty close. It's a goal. Well, he was well shepherded, I'll say that, because no Hawthorne player came within Cooey. 
and he had all the time in the world to pop that one through. That's his first, and Collingwood with a lead of four goals, I would say, are almost home. Well, a beautiful goal by Brewer, Pete, and uh, would lift his confidence tremendously because he's uh, he's been down on confidence. We watched Brewer again, missed it the first time, went down, and has he had plenty of time to steady, although only took it off one kick, and a beautiful goal by Ross Brewer. And it's noticeable, Lou, the number of Collingwood players who came and uh, patted him on the back. Well, there's the ball kicked out. He's in trouble. He's clear now. As he boots the ball back over the centre half back position and a mark there to Moore. Moore's got the ball there. He's out, actually out towards the wing because he's gone for a short pass. It's okay. He finds Ronnie Weir now. Four four looking a bit tired at the moment. Ball comes back up there. Austin got the city if he's good enough. Back down to Turner. Turner at right half forward for Hawthorne. There he is again. You don't need me to tell you who. Number six for Collingwood. McCormick. Ray Shaw. He's got plenty of room to build in Shaw. Wearmouth. Burn. Burn goes goals. Terry Moore ball for. Ball comes out now to Valley. Loses it. Down goes Wearmouth. Free kick to Wearmouth. Again stuck for holding the man. So Wearmouth takes that free kick out there on the wing position. Play slowed up considerably at the moment. Wearmouth goes for a pass out there. And it's a mark. I don't know what Gully. He's taken a pass. That didn't mean a thing that time, that pass going out there to Shaw. He could have gone for the long kick. Shaw boots the ball up towards the half-forward line now. More at the back. Oh, that's a good mark to Betts. That's a strong mark. Betts out there on that half-forward flank. Austin calling for it down there. He's gone for the long kick. Ball pushed down.